I'm going to talk a little bit about some things in Blackboard. I'm going to talk a little bit about some things in Blackboard, then I'm going to go over the live text portfolio. And as you know, this is the Teddy Gordon Show. And <laughs> on, your, on your schedule, we had other names, but I don't know if it's because Alabama is playing at 2.30 today or what, but there's something going on. <laughs> so anyway, um, she's... I'm going to get to Blackboard. Yeah. Let me just get to mine. I, I got it. I can do it. Are you going to have Yeah. Okay. Now, see, I, we need a little Coke box or something here. Okay. Let me get down. I want... Do what? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go into um, Blackboard. And I want to show you, because... I don't see. I don't... You ought to see me when I'm teaching at home. I'm up, down, and around, and because you can't see me. So I, I'm just moving around, and I'm trying to move around right now. And I can't do that. I'm stuck to the mic. Okay, let me see if I can type. While I'm typing this, I'm going to point out one thing. You'll notice in my email address, I actually have the word my. When you see the word my, that means it's either an adjunct instructor or it's a student. If you don't see my in it, that means it's a professor or someone that actually is a full-time person at Athens State. So if you leave out the my and you're trying to talk to one of your uh, classmates or an adjunct, you're not going to get them. Another thing I want to point out is I'm Miss Van or Mrs. Van. I am not a professor, I, like Dr. Gordon. Um, I am not a doctor. I have my master's, and because I'm an adjunct and I work under, actually, Dr. Gordon and Dr. Cowan, I can teach at a university, which I love. I've been doing ED301 since 2011, and it's slowly evolved to I'm the only one that teaches it, so when you come up and say, hi, I'm in your ED301 class, I got it, <laughs> because you, I'm the only one. But I want to just point out that people that go and get their PhDs um, need to have the honor of having that doctor or professor in front of their name. Those of us that only got to the master's level you know, we worked hard too, but we didn't quite go the ex extra step. So use our name like Miss or Mrs. or Mr., okay? And again, if you see a my, then you know it's an adjunct or a student. Okay. In our virtual sessions, as you know, I have them during for seven weeks, and they're not consecutive. We'll have, we had the first three are going to be consecutive, then we'll have a break. Then we'll have virtual session four and continue on. If you cannot make it, and so far about 160 of you have made one of the two virtual sessions. A lot of you are taking classes. Uh, you've got to you know, go see your child's ball game. You've got something that come up. You're sick. I had one that's not here today. He fell through a ceiling. He's okay. He's okay. Um, and, you know, so things do come up. And if you cannot watch the virtual session, then please try to watch the recording. Now, ED301 is going to be a little bit different because, as I've, I've explained to you in the virtual sessions, I can only teach out of it in one section. So the other eight join through that one section. And some of you are going into your section, let's say you're in 12046, you're going in there, and I'm not there. No, I'm not going to be there. I'm in 10123. That's why in announcements on mine, I always I have the directions. Click on the red Intro to Teaching 10123 first. You're going to see that Join Room, and when you see Join Room, you, oh, I got it, click. No, you're not going to be in the right place. So click on that Intro to Teaching 10123, and then you will be automatically get into the class that I'm in. Now, if you click on Join Room first, and I'm not doing, I'm too far, I'm too, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. If you don't click on that 10123, your first stroke, you won't get in the right classroom. You'll get in that phantom. And I'm trying to put slides in all the other eight sections so you know. So uh, you're going to click on the second join room. Now, my class, which you all are in, because I teach it out of 10123, I want you to be sure and use the links for the recordings that I have here. You can copy and paste them into a browser. You can right click on them and open a new window and you will get to the virtual session recording. I add them every single time we have a virtual session. I'll add it to this particular announcement. Everybody at Athens State uses their announcements to talk to y'all. I use them a lot. So please, please read the announcements, which I have told you. But these are the links. You'll see virtual session one from last week and the virtual session two from this week. But you can click on it, you can copy it, you can paste it. If you're using your mobile phone, your phone or need the mobile app, you have to have that on your phone or tablet and then you've got to paste in this recording link. Now, other classes that do virtual sessions, you can actually, other like ED302, any of the other ones that have virtual sessions. You go to Blackboard Collaborate, and this is not for me, I'm just doing it to let you know, and you can go to recordings. I am in 10123, and you can see the recordings here. ED302, ED it'll be the same way. And any other course that has it, 305, any other course that has a virtual session, it will be right here. But in my class, please use the links that are in announcements, okay? And you do that to get to the actual live one and I will have that and I always put in like it'll tomorrow I'll put in third blackboard collaborate virtual session will either be the 913 or 915 so I just wanted to explain that and I hope that helps because some of you are struggling with that okay and one other thing I want to talk about is um, if you are uh, if you get an email from me or anybody else, take the time to answer. It may be just a thank you, or you know me, my smiley faces, but answer it. That way we know, oh, they got the email. Some of you are struggling with getting your emails. I hope you're calling the help desk to get that straightened out. And the number is, I'm gonna tell you, 256-216-6691. Call them. They're great. They will get your problems worked out. I know some of you are actually having to go out and buy some new equipment, but because we deal in Blackboard online classes, you need to have good equipment to be successful. And you're all going to be teachers in the classrooms that are going to have technology all over the place. So we're going to try to get you comfortable with technology right now. Okay. In ED301, we're going to smooth out now. You're going to be reading in your textbook. You're going to be looking at what the questions are related to those chapters. On Thursday at midnight, you're going to post your original post. And then on Sunday at mid by midnight, you're going to answer two of your peers. Be sure to put your peer's name. If you're reading Crystal, we were just talking, so I'm going to use Crystal Grisby as an example. Hey, Crystal, I read your uh, original post, and I really like what you said about da-da-da, but I think I looked at it this way, not, hey, good post, and that's it. That's not going to get it. You've got to add to the discussion, and your original posts need to cover the questions that are in the modules. And the modules are all under lessons assignments. It's set up, I think, fairly simple. And I want to explain, our Athens State website is, is 
is definitely in motion. And everybody was struggling a bit with it because they keep changing it a little bit and making it look prettier. But I think it's going to end up okay. So please don't be too hard on us not being able to find things. But the modules are all set up in ED301. Most of the professors and instructors set it up in some format like this. But if you get an email saying module one is due, hey, click on, my, well, yeah, click on module one and see what is in there. Okay, it's going to tell you everything that's in module one. But look at it. Anything that's underlined, like discussion board one, there's going to be something else. And this actually puts you right in the discussion. And this is the same with everything, okay? And I just, I worry that you are making it more complicated than it is, and you know you text, email, call me, and we'll get it straightened out. Okay, um, I want to go over, my main function here today is to go over live text. Let me see. First of all, I want to tell you, do not panic about live text portfolio. We're just getting started. And let me get, I'm going to use this. Let me get into it. On my end, I have the nine sections. I, and each section is your name. If you have purchased it and registered your live text portfolio, I'm good. I can see it. If you have bought it but you haven't registered it, please go ahead and do that. Virtual session four, I'm going to show you in virtual session four how to create your portfolio. We're going to do this in sections so it won't be so overwhelming okay I don't want you to go oh, I can't do this it's not a whole portfolio we're just starting it you're going to add to it the whole time you are at Athens State okay as I said we start the live text portfolio in ED301 and why is it important it's a way to gather all the good material you create while you're at Athens State. It's a marketing tool when you apply for jobs through, uh, you know, talking to a principal or a superintendent of education. And you're going to take this opportunity to, oh, hey, I wrote a great lesson plan in ED, ED, ED302. I don't think we do lesson plans in 302 anymore. Or I did a great article review. I did a fantastic Prezi in 305. I did a great project in 302 for my uh, final grade. All these are things that you want to brag about yourself about in your portfolio. So you are going to create it in 301. We're going to start it. 301 doesn't really have excellent things that you can use in your portfolio, but I'm going to help you figure out how to do it. And then when you do that fantastic lesson plan, write that fantastic paper, do that great project, you'll be able to put it in there. Okay, now, you use it in 301 by creating it and adding a few things to it. Then before you apply to TEP, your advisor is going to have it for them to look at and see what you need to do with it or if it's good and hopefully it'll be great because it's part of the process of getting accepted to TEP, Teacher Education Program. Before your senior methods, you're going to have it reviewed again. And then when you're an intern, your intern supervisor is also going to look at it at the end of that period of time to make sure you've got a finished product use this opportunity to brag about yourself. You're going to start out doing some things and you're going two semesters from now, you're going to say, ugh, don't like that. I'm going to take that out and put in something better. It's a work in uh, progress, okay? Now, it is required. You cannot pass ED301 without doing the portfolio. I don't care if you have an A in ED301. 
you can't pass it. It's like this orientation is mandatory. You can't pass it. But you're here, so you got this one knocked out. The live text portfolio is the same way. Okay, now. If you first log in, and this one has every course, all nine sections, it may not look exactly like this because it's, it's shrunk in. Now, it's shrunk in, but it's going to have every course you're taking that is in live text. Dr. Cowan downloads all these. If it does not have every course that you're taking in College of Education, you can click on my account and what you, make sure everything is correct in there. Okay? And make sure everything is correct. And then once you have done that, make sure your student ID is right, your ASU email address is right, your birth date is right. And then you just log back out of it. And when you log back in, all your courses, this doesn't happen very often, but if it does, just be sure to look at that my account and make sure your my account is right. You know, one thing happens is when you go in and, and uh, register your or purchase your LiveTex account, you might have clicked on the wrong university. And, if, and so you're over here in some other university and not Athens State, easy fix. You let me know and I will give you the telephone number to live text, and they just switch you over. Okay, hey, I went to UNA. I already have a live text portfolio. The same number, well, those people at the help desk at live text will move it from UNA to Athens State. You don't buy another one. You only need one. So, and oh, I bought one two years ago, but I had to drop out of Athens State because of some personal reasons. Okay, it's still there. I actually checked for one. It's still there. If you bought it at Athens State, it's still there. So don't go buying another one. Okay, now the current terms are displayed. Okay, all current terms. I'm going to be jumping back and forth between the current term and the summer. 2014 just because Dr. Cowan actually put some information in there so you can see it. You can switch, like next semester, you can switch to uh, the fall if you want to look at your fall. But it'll be in there, okay? It's in there. Uh, I want to point out some tabs that you will not use. You will not use the forms tab, the community tab, and this one doesn't have one. And there's a tools tab, and you're not going to use those. You won't use those at all. The ones you're going to be using mostly is the dashboard and the live text docs and the file manager. And I'm going to actually show you. I do, this, I do this so much, but I'm going by my cheat sheet so I don't leave anything out. OK, the course tab is just lists all your courses. And here, like I said, it's going to list all nine that I have. The file manager is actually where all your files are going to be always listed. They're always going to be in the file manager. Y'all, don't worry if you're not gathering, gathering all this information and keeping it in your head. I'm going to help you with that. But file manager will have everything that you've ever put into your um, live text portfolio. You also are able to uh, allow people like a principal to look at just your portfolio if you want them to. And that goes under reviews. You don't send it to me as a review because in ED301, the portfolio is an assignment and I'm going to show you how to do it today and then I'm going to show you in separate steps during the rest of the semester but you actually say you want to um, send a link to the principal at T.R. Simmons Elementary in Jasper, Alabama, you can certainly just do this and that person will be able only to look at your portfolio. It's all electronic. Everybody wants it electronic. Also, 
you see if I hover over Wendy Cowan's candidate portfolio, it says that it has been reviewed and assessed and it's completed. But this is under the reviews. You won't use that in ED301. Okay. You know, while I'm at it, I'm going to give you the help desk for live text so you can write it down. Everybody write it down. It's 866 548 3839. 866-548-3839. If you email me, that's what I'm going to send you. I, I call and uh, they're very, they're like Athens State Help Desk. They're so helpful. Okay, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. In the dashboard, your courses are listed and you'll notice that they all have not submitted because we haven't submitted anything yet. I'm going to go back to summer of 2014. Ah, there I am. Come on. Y'all are feeling my frustration right now. Well, okay, I'm going to talk it. It's not going to let me go back. When you do work on a portfolio and you submit it to me to look at, you, you're going to submit it to me, it goes yellow. This red bar goes yellow. When it's been assessed, it will go green. And that's just a little information. So if it's red, that just means you haven't submitted it yet. Now, let me go back to fall. Of, let me see if I can get fall of two. Okay, we're good. Oh, here it is. It finally decided to pop up. Okay, the documents in live text, like I said, are all listed. It's going to be an important tab for you to click on. Okay, I'm going to quit looking at my notes because I can talk this a whole lot better. The You've bought your portfolio, you've registered your portfolio, you've gone into www.livetext.com. You're going to get a screen with a list of your courses. You are going to look for your ED301 section number. And I'm finally getting the summer here. It just took a while. You are go I'm going to use 10123 because I use it for everything. You are going to click on Begin Assignment. And you're going to see a screen that looks like this. There are instructions, and I'm going to talk those instructions in virtual, virtual session four, five, and six. There are actually instructions here. Come on. I'm sorry, it's slow. Okay, come on. It's not going to, they're there. You'll see them when you click on it. Click on Live Text Docs. You click on, yeah, thank you all. Live Text Docs. Then you click on Plus New. Okay, Live Text Docs Plus New. You are going to see a number of menu items here. You are going to stay in the part that says Athens State University. You're going to click on Portfolios. You're going to ignore the first one, but all the others are where you get to choose from. If you are an um, art major and you want to teach art, you would pick the portfolio that says Art. If you're a collaborative and it's a 612 as well as a K6, it's both of them, you would pick that. 
If your early childhood, you would pick that one. If your elementary slash collaborative, that's your portfolio. If you're just elementary, you pick that one. You phys ed folks, you pick that. Secondary programs, not art. If you are history, biology, chemistry, um, English, language arts, anything like that that's secondary, that is the one you will pick. If you're a tech, going to be a tech ed secondary teacher, that's the one you pick. So be careful. Now, if you pick the wrong one, it's okay. It's not going to be a big deal. We can get rid of the wrong one. But look at them all carefully and think about what is my major? Am I elementary collaborative or elementary? And if you're secondary, don't, and not art, pick this one. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick one. I'll do elementary. And it will show you what's gonna be in there. And then at the very bottom, it's gonna say create document. You're gonna type in a name, your name, And you can be as creative, but make sure it makes sense. You're going to give your t a portfolio a title, and now you have it created. And that's all. And that's what we're going to talk about next in, in virtual session four on how to create it. Those of you that have already purchased and registered, you can go ahead and do it if you want. Don't go too far ahead, but just do that. So it's live tech stocks plus new, Athens State University, portfolios, pick the correct template. I'll do phys ed this time. And click on create document, type in a name, and, so, and put physical education, That way, the principal will know who it is and what you're teaching. And OK, and then you've got it created. So I've just created two portfolios. OK, you're done with that. You get out, and you, go, you, know, you log out, and you have to log back in a couple days later. Then always click on Live Text Docs. You don't need to click on Dashboard. You don't need to click on Courses. You click on Live Text Docs, and you'll see the Anna Jones that I just created is there, and the Sam Brown that I just created is there, and you'll click on it, and your portfolio will be added to. I'm going to quickly tell you what you, in ED301, you're going to put in an introduction. That's all. There are other things in here, mission and resume, but that's not until your internship, and your philosophy, and that's not until your internship, although you do create it in ED302. So 301, you're going to put in candidate introduction. And in student-centered learning, this is a goal, multiple things that you can possibly add to, and I'm not going to, as you can see, there's three in this one. You're only going to do one in ED301. Disciplinary knowledge, the same thing. The concepts are there. You're going to pick one to attach something that you have done that shows that. And it goes, uh, professional knowledge is the same way. Socially responsible citizen is the same thing. And then the last one that you do in 301 is the P12 impact. Now, if you are taking courses that don't have you creating anything, writing papers, doing lesson plans, doing a Prezi, doing some kind of video project, and you're only having 301 to choose from, you can use your discussion posts, and I'll tell you which ones you can use. They can't stay in there, though, because they really don't show everything that you're capable of. But they're like placeholders. Again, I'm teaching you, and we're going to teach you how to add things to your portfolio. 
Okay. Yes. So in, uh, and so you might jot this down. Okay. So in, can you, can you show me the, um, the table of contents? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So student centered learning, um, Like where it says culturally responsive teaching, at the end of ED3, ED302, if you've taken it or you've taken it, you do a digital presentation. And that uh, would kind of work there. But it also would work, so that digital presentation would also work under socially responsible citizen. So make sure what you put in there like makes sense and you know what it means because that's the conceptual framework. Everybody's syllabus, that first page, like my face-to-face -face class, we looked at that. That is your conceptual framework. And it kind of explains, but also on the website is the whole document that explains it. So in 302, you also do the MindMeister assignment where you're putting content from the textbook. That should go under disciplinary or professional knowledge. That's an excellent one. You put your URL there after you finished it. That's an excellent one. When you get to 305, your website, that can be under student-centered learning or professional knowledge. So constantly kind of thinking um, what you can put in there. Let's see, in 302, and then your philosophy paper, but that's an internship. And um, SE3. Those are the main ones. S yeah, what's it? yeah, SE301, you do um, a lot of good projects in it that can be yeah. used. Um, in this too. But for e ED301, you only have to pick one in each of these four sections and you actually attach whatever it is, a URL, the paper, the pro um, lesson plan, you actually attach it. Then you have to explain why, hey, this lesson plan shows that I know how to teach a classroom with differentiating learning going on. And you're going to word it better than that, but you're going to do this. So, ED301, you're going to create it. You're going to write an introduction. You're going to add four artifacts to these four areas, student-centered learning, disciplinary knowledge, professional knowledge, and socially responsible citizen. And you're going to do a P12 impact. And in ED301, it has to be something from ED301. As we get in, you're going to see you're going to do a movie review. And that works there. Dr. Cowan and I talked about this a lot a couple years ago when we added, when P12 was added to this. The movie review works there. So you get to watch, pick a movie and watch it. And it's either Freedom Riders, uh, Mr. Holland's Opus, or Robin Williams. Um, what? Yes, okay. So you get to pick one of those three. And when you do that, you'll be writing to a le nine points and it's very it fits very well in the P12 impact because it shows teachers making major impact on the students in their classroom from the private school to the very very poor schools so um, and then after you get it done you send it to me and I grade it I'm going to tell you this I want you to start out well in this so, I really spend a lot of time on these portfolios. I've never had 222 students, I love that number, 222 students. I'm still gonna make every effort I can to make sure you have a good start on this portfolio. That you have what you need in it for 301. I look, I try to catch grading, uh, grammar errors. It may not be able to be that thorough this time, but I'm gonna try. But if you want me to look at it before you submit it, I actually have to have your live text username and password for me to look at it. If you submit it to me, I can look at it and grade, you know, say, okay, and send it back to you, and then you can fix it, and then you can send it back to me, or I can look at it before you submit it. This is only in 301 because we're getting started. Okay, that's a lot of information. Remember, our virtual session four, five, and six. We're going to go over this, and it'll be okay. It's not, I've had students do the entire portfolio because they didn't listen. Don't want you to spend that time. You've got too much going on. 
I only need you to do what you need to do for 301 in this, and that is get a beginning start, and that's it. Okay. Remember, I'm here for you. I don't know. How are we doing on time? Um, are you good, Teddy? <laughs> um, I'm here for you. I love my online classes. Those of you that have emailed me, texted me, called me, I try to respond, okay? If I haven't responded, I probably didn't get it. Anybody in this room not getting their Athens State emails? Oh, I don't have any hand. Okay, okay. Yeah, and check your junk mail too. But if you are not, call that number. To, I feel like that TV show. Or the help desk. To, the help desk at athens.edu or 256-216-6698 and they'll get it fixed. You've got to have your Athens email to be successful. I don't want to find out in November you never got an email from me. Okay, do you have any questions since you've got me right here before I give it back to Dr. Gordon? You have to holler it out. Call. They're not going to ask. They don't even, they do ask online. But we are, we are around yeah. all day. Well, you don't.